textile artist making bespoke works for public, sacred and domestic spaces for nearly 25 years. I trained at Brunel University in constructed textiles and have been self-employed since 1997. I've built an extensive portfolio of commissions, from large-scale wall hangings and panels to vestments and old cloths. I've been lucky enough to design for bishops, cathedrals, livery companies, the Lutheran Church in New York and numerous other churches across the UK. Aside from the ecclesiastical work, I have tailored numerous items of clothing for TV appearances, red carpet film premieres, weddings, carnivals and theatrical productions. My textile artworks have been collected by artists and the public for many years. I have been building a body of ecclesiastical art for a number of years and a search of my portfolio might bring up some of these commissions. Bradford Cathedral commissioned a full set of ecclesiastical textiles in 2013 to mark the 50th anniversary of the choir and the chancel. These works, alongside the liturgical significance, were designed to reflect the textile heritage and character of that city. By the end of the commission, every element of the work had a local connection. Even the congregation became involved with stitching the altar rail cushion, which was a really successful community project. Currently, there are 40 individual pieces of my work at Bradford Cathedral, soon to increase as the stitching group start a new altar rail cushion for the Lady Chapel. The Bishop of Gloucester, Rachel Treweek, was the first female diocesan bishop in the Church of England and the first female bishop in the House of Lords. Her inauguration was streamed live around the world in 2015 where she wore a set of robes I designed and made. Redesigning the cope, a garment worn previously only by men, was a delicate process and wanting to make it different and more feminine without making it too radical. I cut away the hem and made the garment more fitted around the shoulders, giving it a fluid and elegant style, with the theme of baptismal water swirling over the back and sides. I was really thrilled to be invited to dress her in those robes during that historic inauguration. St Andrew's Corbridge in Northumberland was another extensive commission with an all-season Laudian frontal, a full set of vestments and eight long seasonal banners to mark the changing seasons. The frontal was designed to reflect each part of the church year and was made using applied silk sections and embroidered with viscose thread. The banners were printed using themes from the frontal. Guildford Cathedral commissioned five festal copes to mark the 50th anniversary of the building designed by Sir Edward Morfe. These copes were worn in the presence of the Queen and were made entirely of silk with applique and free embroidery. As Guildford was the city where I was born, this commission had a particular significance for me. A few years later, I was asked to make another cope for the new Dean, Diana Williams, as she was not able to fit into her predecessor's robes. Other notable commissions have been a set of robes for the Magna Carta 800 celebrations at Runnymede, worn by the Master of Temple Church, a preacher's robe for Reverend Joel Edwards for the Windrush celebration, copes for the Bishops of London, West Yorkshire in the Dales, Blackburn, and large-scale artworks both printed and handworked in cathedrals and churches throughout the UK. My secular work ranges from small-scale domestic pieces to large-scale installations in public buildings. Recently, I completed a commission for a chapel space in a Sussex cottage hospice, which is the largest handworked piece I have made to date. Measuring two and a half metres in height, and two metres across, it took over 340 hours to complete. Over the years I've been doing this, I found that creating a textile design using a mixed media collage is the best way to portray the texture and colour of textiles. I have a stack of painted papers, some in oil, some watercolour or acrylic, which I cut out and place in layers to build up a design. This maquette is then the starting point for a proposal I might suggest several designs for one commission to illustrate my train of thought or show varieties on a theme. 
When a design is selected, I'll then move on to the next stage. Silk is the queen of textiles. Its sheen, its smell, its amazing ability to absorb colour makes it a fabulous thing to work with. I work with silk a lot, but I also work with wool and viscose, depending on what the project requires. Bringing colours and fibres together start to bring the paper maquette to life, and then the surface detail can start. I use several stitch techniques, depending on the scale of the work, on different machines in order to get the effect I'm after. I'm always looking for new ways to work and new elements to interpret my designs. I usually create a series of small sampling pieces in order to define and refine the plan for each piece. Once the planning and techniques are in place, then it is all about the hours. I have a wonderful studio at home to work in, my sanctuary, with my wide doors that open onto the garden and windows on three sides. Thank you.